Now I am no massive professional bodybuilder. However, I've been thinking about this video for a while now that I need to put this out there and I've been hesitant. I've been thinking when I've got so much gains that I don't know, I can show some before and after picture that's crazy, that I'm massive or something like that. That's when I'm going to put it. But I realized that I was holding back knowledge for no reason. I can do another video in the future. Same thing, same points pretty much that I'm going to make today. And it's going to maybe click with more people. But I know there's some people that are going to be smart enough to recognize that the message still makes sense now i'm going to be speaking about exactly how to get consistent in working out the reason why i'm qualified to speak about this in my perspective and the reason why these tips are genuinely valuable is because it was something that i was working on for years and years and years if you look on my instagram there's literally story highlights that are still there at the moment i might delete them at some point but they're still there of like gym from years ago and i'll be like yeah i'm starting gym and i would go like once maybe once on a Monday, the next time I'll go on like a Friday and then next week I wouldn't go. Then the week after I'll go on like a Wednesday or something like that. On the flip side now, if you look at literally the app that I use to track my workouts, which is a good tip by the way, app is called highly recommend it but if you look at that, you can literally see the consistency of my workouts now and I am beyond grateful. Like I'm just so grateful to be in this position and it might not seem like anything crazy but when you've been struggling with consistency in various areas of your life and you go from that to actually having a consistency in multiple different areas of course gym is a topic we're speaking about today so i'll stick on that but speaking about gym when you're able to just go consistently right i go at least six days a week like as you can see on the screenshot i've been going six days a week sometimes seven and it's just such a good feeling and i want to help more people be able to feel that feeling look here's some tips to get consistent in working out it doesn't have to be gym it can be home workouts i've got friends that love home workouts that are very consistent with it number one is start small you may see see people for example you may see me go in gym six days a week yeah cool yeah no, the, the gains the gains are coming through right the abs are definitely <laughs> let me not talk about the abs man. <laughs> the back gains are dead but look you may see me go in gym like six seven days a week and you may be like i want to go gym six seven days a week you may see other people that are actually big right people that i like to look at are people like jesse james west if you're a guy and um, obviously if you're a girl then you will look at different people you might see these people banging out gym going gym literally uh, look one of my good friends big up my bro cam hockey right he goes gym literally two times a day that's what i am i'm doing my cardio do i want to be in the gym no in fact i'm gonna give him a plug right now if you want personal training he does online personal training hit him up i'll link him in the description but anyways besides that you might look at these people thinking i need to go that amount you don't need to go that amount of times especially when you're trying to build up that consistency habit look if you don't go gym at all even start with one time a week pick a specific day where you're going to say you know what every single sunday i'm going gym every single sunday and you don't even have to have a deadline on it or anything like that if you want to make it even easier you can really depends on where you're at mentally if you feel like man i can't i can't even go gym once a week that's so long then just commit to a time frame commit to for example three weeks or well not three weeks commit to something like if you're going once a week then commit to like two months or something like that just once a week on that specific day and you don't make any excuse you go on that you go to gym on that exact day every single week now if you're a little bit bolder and i would recommend doing a little bit more than once a week even to start is go two times a week go three times a week but again the most important thing is not going three times a week because i'm telling you to go three times a week or is not go four times a week because someone else has told you to go four times a week the most important thing for you if you're struggling to be consistent at all is just to pick a number in your own head don't make it a hard number make it a number that you know 100 you're going to stick to and you're going to get it done if that's once a week cool if that even if that's once every other week cool it's going to be a lot longer to make progress in that way and when i say progress i mean to get consistent it's going to be longer and you're going to understand why in a moment but if that's if that's all you can comfortably commit to go ahead and do it right sometimes you will even find yourself going to the gym more times anyway but check this out once you start to go once a week or again three times a week ideally something like that you go a couple times a week three times a week and you have specific days all of a sudden you've started to be consistent for a little while and you're like you know what this feels good. Let me add another day. Let me add another day to my workout. And then maybe you add another day. Maybe you get to a point where you're doing five days a week. Maybe four days a week is enough. A lot of people just do three days a week, full body workouts, which is perfectly fine, right? It's down to personal preference. You do not need to go gym or work out every single day. I mean, I would encourage working out every single day because it's good for your health, right? Which is actually going to lead on to point number two. I mean, technically I've gone into so many points within that point alone. So let's call this, let's just call it point number three because it will be a nice title, right? This, maybe I'll make this the thumbnail. Jeez. Anyways, um, <laughs> point number three, learn to love the process. Learn to love the process. 
of course, at first you might have to use a little bit of discipline to get you going once a day or to get you going once a week or a few times a week, whatever that number is for you. Set that number and I encourage you to set the number today, by the way, right now as you're watching this video, set a number, decide to do it now, stop waiting. But then as you go to the gym, stop focusing on how much you don't like the gym. Stop talking about, oh man, it's leg day today. Oh man, it's chest day today or whatever day it is that you don't like. Learn to love that workout. Because once you do that, you're going to want to go, right? You're going to want to go to the gym every single time because you love it. And that might seem simpler said than done, but honestly, your mind is a very, very powerful thing. You could turn something that you think you don't like into something you love simply by changing your perception around that specific event. When I started to learn to just love leg day, love the gym, love each specific workout, like sometimes even now, sometimes I'll be in the gym or I might be on my way to the gym, for example, and I'm like, I'm about to do a session. I'm like, ooh, in fact, you know what? Today, I, this is this is the exercise that I'll probably say brings these thoughts up most in my head. It's um, I don't know what they're called. It's like oblique twists or something like that, where you hold the cable, go like that. Mm, for abs, yeah. <laughs> I feel those a lot. Like those are those are intense, right? And with those, a lot of the times I'm thinking, jeez, okay, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? And then I have to just reframe, reframe the way I'm thinking. And say to myself, you know what? Now this is gonna be lit, right? In fact, the fact that it is intense, it's amazing because I'm going to love the feeling while I'm doing it and after, right? I'm gonna feel like I've accomplished something even just from that one specific exercise. So learn to love the process in some kind of way. You could treat it like a game. In fact, I do recommend the app Strong because Strong, and I'm not affiliated with Strong in any kind of way, by the way, it's just a powerful, powerful app, right? What it does, even for example, seeing things like how many times you've gone per week, that can be a little game to you. Or also what it will do is it will show you your personal records. How many personal records did you hit in that specific session, right? So you go to a session, you do you, you do some good, good, right? You hit some personal records. It will literally tell you, you hit this personal record, this personal record, treat it like a game. How on earth can you not love that? It's lit. Anyways, I do have more points to be honest. Um, and I did want to dive into some more things, but I feel like this video is long enough at this point. I actually was intending to keep the video like two minutes, but evidently that didn't happen. So I'm going to end it here. If you would like me to continue these tips on another video in the future, then feel free to let me know. I'm more than happy to do that. Maybe I would include some other tips in a video about how to get consistent in a different area of life, because in reality, it's all the same, man. Get building consistency is pretty much the same in any area that you want to build it in. But with that being said, hopefully today's video was valuable for you. My name's Shay. Go ahead and drop a subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more Source Mondays, personal development videos, Thursdays, business, that's marketing videos. I'll post. Recording, editing Shay is in the building. I'm editing this and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, this whole um, Monday, Thursday thing, I don't think it's happening right now. Why? Because the thing is, I could drop Monday and Thursday quite simply without editing, right? But editing takes time and this has taken me, I don't know, I just, I decided to edit, man. I wanted to come with some higher quality source for you guys just let me know what you guys are thinking of the edits, but I think realistically what we're looking at right now at this current point in time is I'm looking to drop every Monday. Um, so turn on post notifications just to keep alert on when I actually do post. But bear in mind, behind the scenes, editing takes a bit of time, right? So hopefully this video was valuable for you guys. Drop a like if you felt it. But most importantly, let me know what you guys are feeling um, about the editing style, right? Let me know.